Welcome to another short subject from EducateVirtually.com. We're going to talk about the F statistic and how it leads us to the p-value, the all-important p-value that tells us how confident we are that there is a difference in what we've tested. Let's start with a hypothetical situation. We're going to say that you are the popped popcorn company of America and you are making bags of popped popcorn. Your customers one of their critical to quality requirements would be the least number of unpopped kernels that they could find in a bag. So we want to minimize those or eliminate them. So you're going to run an experiment or a hypothesis test where we're going to have one variable, which is the type of kernel, and we're going to have three different vendors that are going to provide us with those kernels. And we're going to have 25 data sets, or n of equal to 25, for our valuation. Let's take a look at the analysis of variance. Let's say that we've conducted this experiment, we have our data, we have a factor, which had three settings, leaves us with two degrees of freedom. Three settings minus one, two degrees of freedom for the factor. We have to pay for doing our statistics. The degrees of freedom is our piggy bank. We had 25 total data points. We give away one, leaving us with 24 total degrees of freedom. That leaves us with an unexplained degrees of freedom of 22. Often this is called the error. I like to consider it the unexplained because we don't know where that variation came from. It's unexplained. It's not like somebody did something wrong, which is often why it's called error, but we didn't make a mistake. It's just unexplained. We calculate our mean square, which is our sum of squares, divided by our degrees of freedom then that gets us to the all-important F statistic, which is what leads us to the p-values, the probability that there is a difference. So the mean square for the factor divided by the mean square for the unexplained gives us the F statistic. The F statistic has a distribution that looks like this. Now this distribution would be the distribution of there is no difference. All right, now it is characterized, the F distribution, this particular one, and there's an infinite number of F distributions, based on the degrees of freedom for the factor and the degrees of freedom for the unexplained. So this is the distribution for F of two degrees of freedom for factor, 22 for the unexplained. It looks like this, and we've listed here some of the values of the F statistic. Now ones that are of note, a value of 3.44. That corresponds to our all-important p-value of 0.05. So we've always said that if we have a p-value of 0.05, we have a 95% confidence that there is a difference when we change level settings for our factor, which was the kernels. 5.72. That has a p-value of 0.01 a 99% confidence that there is a difference. Well, how about if we go in this direction? Here's an important F statistic. The F statistic with a value of 1 or less. A value of 1 or less means that my mean square for the unexplained is as big or bigger than the mean square for the factor. So the variation associated with we don't know where or what it, what it was or where it came from is just as significant as the factor. And since we're not going to bet any money on the unexplained, we're not going to bet any money on a factor that has an F statistic of 1 or less. We can see that the corresponding p-values are very large, 0.38 for value 1, for value 0 0.5, 0 0.61. So as our F statistics get smaller, it pushes us into the meat of our distribution of there is no difference and we would conclude that there is no difference here when we change level settings. So what we're looking for is F statistics that get very, very large, which means that our p-values are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which means that our confidence is growing that there is a difference when we change level settings between our factors. Well, that explains it. That's the F distribution, the F ratio, and how it leads us to the p statistics that tell us that we can have confidence in our solution. Visit us at EducateVirtually.com, e-learning, webinars on demand, on-site training, coaching, and facilitation. We can bring it to you or you can come to us. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this short video. 
and enjoy. Come visit us sometime. Thanks much.